today's video is going to be something that uh, I get requests for this all the time. I try not to do a lot of these because I just sound butthurt and I'm a really difficult person to offend. Like I don't get offended easily at all. So it's really difficult to offend me. So if I, I get offended by a product, it means World War 3. So today I'm going to be doing products I regret buying or products that did not work for me. Before starting with this video, I would like to say that just like some things might work for me but won't work for you it is applicable vice versa as well just because i am saying this did not work doesn't mean that it won't work for you like but this is just my opinion you might already have some of the products and probably love them to death but these are just some things that did not sadly work for me so i'm gonna be doing this video today and so many of you guys love watching this video I don't know why, maybe you just like me ranting all the time. But so as a vlogger, there are so many things that I have to try off and on camera and so many of them do not even make it on camera because I just do not like sharing things that I don't like because I feel it's just of no use. I like to share things that work for me are amazing so that you guys come to know about and everything of that sort. But once in a while, these sort of videos are required. So the first product on my list is going to be this Nykaa Dual Tone Nail Enamel Remover. This is what it looks like. And this is going to make so many people happy. So for all those of you out there who think that Nykaa literally pays for my square meal, like for my house, for my makeup, or everything, I hope you're happy. I'm finally saying something about a product, bad about a Nykaa product. So this is the Nykaa Dual Tone Nail Enamel Remover. And this retails for... Um, no clue, I have no clue how much this retails so I will have all of the details somewhere here so that you guys know exactly the amount and everything. Now, um, this is just not a good nail enamel remover. I just feel that acetone works way better than this so you guys know how much this works. It just takes a lot of effort and I feel there's a lot of oil in this product so it just really does not do its job that amazingly well. I love Nykaa nail paints but this nail enamel remover just didn't work for me and plus it has a very weird sort of a fragrance. I, I just don't know. I don't like the fragrance as well so this just did not work for me and also before moving on to the other products I want to say that like because I talked about the fact that Nalka paying for my house and everything which is not true it was just a sarcastic uh, sentence right there I just want to say this again I don't want to sound butthurt because I really am not standing up for yourself is something different than sound being butthurt so I'm just saying that I can't comment on everyone but I'm just commenting on myself because I don't want to comment on anyone I hate that fact when people say all bloggers do that or like even a blogger saying that all bloggers are like this or all bloggers are like that I can't say for everyone because everyone is a different person but I just want to talk from my viewpoint that a lot of people think there's so much money in this world there's just so much glam and for that matter any sort of a profession like wherever glamour and fame is involved people just tend to think that oh there's just so much money and this and that and that behind the gloss and the shine there's a different world altogether which you guys are not aware of until and unless you step into it like just for example take the world of fashion it seems like oh there's so much money involved like models walking the ramp being paid crores and stuff like that which is not true at all like there's no money in fashion and even when it comes to you know videos like our videos it, it's not like brands are like crazy behind us and paying us like in crores like i literally get comments like oh my gosh you get paid like eight lakhs a month and i'm just like i would really like that like honestly i would really like that but <laughs> Sadly, that's not true and so many times you have to you know invest back so much into our work that it's like it's not even something that you can create a balance out of like my dad was checking my statement for this year's you know financial records and everything and um, he just saw a Kylie order for 16,000 and he was like what? So I literally told him it's an investment. See that as an investment, I'm investing back into my YouTube. So yeah, you get literally paid in pennies for the work you're doing. Like think about your moms. What do they get? Like they work around the house. They make sure it's clean, even if they're not cleaning it themselves. Like making sure the maids are working and everything, which is a very big task. Like let me tell you, I try to handle the house and make my maid work. It, it, it's just like it's a, a lot of headache. And then at the end of the day, you're just giving her a meal. It's a barter system. A lot of time things work in barter in our industry and we do that not because we are hungry for free products is it that we want you to know about some products before they even launch so that you guys can make your plans accordingly and when you get bullshit like you know oh you're a sellout bitch it's like uh sorry i was just trying to help you i won't from the next time but i'm not being butthurt there are some people who always are butthurt and 
Then there's a huge community of you guys who love me for who I am. So I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Like K-O-O-L, like Shah Rukh Khan, cool. Getting back to the topic with another nail product. I tried the Ultime Pro Nail Lacquer by Faces. This is their matte range. Oh, it matches my top perfectly well. Now this is in the shade Rosette and it's a matte collection that recently launched. I love the color and everything, but it doesn't stay matte for even a complete day and it chips so bad. Like I had it on and chipped in one day. I thought maybe I applied it too much layer and everything i made my mom try it and chipped on her as well so i was like yeah it's it's the nail polish the fault is in our nail polish so yes um this sadly did not work for me and this one retails for uh again i will have the prices 275 rupees so it is an expensive nail polish it's not like a cheap nail polish so this sadly didn't work moving to proper makeup makeup like face makeup the first product that did not work for me was nyx hd studio photogenic primer base I have like a gazillion of NYX primers and I love all of them but this one I don't know why but it always just gives me a whitish cast no matter how less or how much I use it I'm gonna show you on the back of my hand like I'm gonna use a tiny drop like just this much and it just gives me a whitish cast I do not understand why like can you see the difference I have blended it out completely but there's still like a whitish cast and when you apply it underneath the foundation, the foundation color tends to lighten up and then you're just left like... <sighs> so yeah, that sadly did not work for me. I do not know the price again because I got this from the next team in US. So I will have the price in the bottom bar or somewhere here as I said. Then another face product that did not work for me at all was the Faces Sheer Radiance Liquid Foundation. This one just oxidizes on me so bad, like it looks, it will be slightly darker for my skin tone but when you apply it, it's lighter and then it oxidizes back again and it's just like Bhai man bana le, tu chahta kya hai? Like literally, I felt like saying just make up your mind You can make up your mind, 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 mind Please don't waste my time, 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 time So yeah, this just did not work for me at all At the time that I bought it, it retailed for 2.99 rupees but I will have the updated price right here because it's been a while since I've had this and plus the fact that it has a spatula like this it's really inconvenient to use because it's just like I don't know how to use this like I hate when uh, companies do something like this I know it's a cheap product like cheap in the way that it's very affordable 299 300 is an affordable product for a, like affordable price for a foundation but this doesn't just doesn't no no I hate spatulas like these I just do not like them at all so yeah, that is the thing for faces. Sheer Radiance Foundation did not work. Oh my god, like this product, I wanted it to work so bad, like so bad, I can't even describe to you guys. And it broke me so much. I'm talking about the Soap and Glory Trick and Treatment Concealer. This is what it looks like and it's in the shade Bright On. I got it from the Dubai Duty Free. And I wanted it to work so bad. Like this is supposed to also treat your under eyes while hiding it for the moment and uh, this is just so oily and it's not pigmented at all so even if you apply it it's like there's literally nothing on you feel like there's no pigmentation whatsoever and it leaves your under eyes looking so oily like i have the kickass concealer and i love it it's beautiful but this one it just i wanted it to work so bad i'm not even kidding you guys because the packaging was so cute everything was just so nice open glory is known for amazing packaging and i was just looking forward to this and so sad that this did not work. Another concealer that did not work for me was this LA Girl Velvet Highlight Contour Stick. They have it in a contour like a concealer variant, then bronzers and contours and everything. While the bronzers and contours I'm fine with, this one... Where to start from? The stick is sort of too dry for your under eyes. It just dries up your skin. Like if you apply it like that, you can see how drying it is. Like it just settles into the fine line so much. And plus the fact the pigmentation is not that much. Once you blend it out, there's literally nothing left. And it feels so bad under the eyes. Like your under eyes feel like you you want to kill them or something of that sort. And it just like enhances the fine lines even more. So it's like thank you but no <laughs> moving on to the eyes i'm first going to talk about the eyeshadows now i got this physician's formula nude palette from us last year this was actually a whole set with eye pencils mascara and this palette and i was so looking forward to it because i've heard physician's formula about physician's formula so much and i wanted to try out more products i did have a couple of things from them so i really wanted to get my hands on that i love the mascara i love the pencils but this palette is such a huge disappointment this is the nude strips or something of that sort and they have like gorgeous colors the colors are very pretty but there's like no pigmentation whatsoever 
like whatsoever and then when you just apply it on your eyes you get nothing and they're chalky and even after there's like no matte color in here all are like shimmer because obviously it's a shimmer strip but they're very chalky and they just don't glide on my eyes nicely it's just a no i really wanted again this to work so well for me but it just did not cut it for me then the other palette that is was a huge disappointment for me was the Rock Nudes by Maybelline. I did review it, so if you want to see the complete review, then go over there. Again, the same issue. There's no pigmentation whatsoever. The colors are chalky, and the glitter eyeshadows just had like a layer of glitter on them. And once you are like once you have the drop layer off, there's no glitter in there, and it just did not work. So bad. So 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 bad. Moving on to the eyebrows, the pack defining brow shaper did not work for me at all. I made sure the owner knew about it as well and he was so sweet. He was like, we're going to change the formulation and everything. So formulation wise, this is still fine. It's a nice eyebrow pencil, but the color, and there's just one color. This literally makes my hair look like red. So if I was an auburn or a redhead, this would look amazing on me. But because I am, I'm not even a brunette, I'm just black headed person i don't even know what do you call that brunettes have like brown hair my hair is like jet black this is not dyed it's just jet black even in light like i have so much light around me it's just jet black there is no brown a lot of people when they go out in sunlight their hair seems like brown it reflects nice colors with my hair it's jet black like even when i go get like go to get it colored people have to make like bleach my hair for about three hours so that it just catches some color little bit and it's so frustrating because i'm just like why can't i just put on henna and have red hair for life i don't know but anyway so this did not work for me because it just made my eyebrows look red and weird although the spoolie is nice everything was fine but the color is such a big bummer and there was only one color i do think they're reformulating it but it's not in the market yet so let's wait and hope that they bring in good coloring with this then a mascara that absolutely failed and failed so bad is the Vogue Free Waterproof Long Lash Mascara by Blue Heaven. This is what it looks like. The packaging is really cute, pink and nice and girly and everything. But the mascara is such a big letdown. I'll show you the wand. The wand looks like this is a very nice fat wand. There was so much potential but the formulation is where everything goes down the drain. Because it doesn't add any length, any volume, no nothing to your lashes. If you're wearing false lashes, it's still fine because it will add a tint of black color to your lashes. But if you're not wearing false lashes, just no. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't curl your lashes, lengthen it, volume it. It's nothing. It's like nothing. It's like almost just painting your lashes so that you have some color. <laughs> and the last product on my list are these matte liquid lipsticks by L'Oreal. This is what they look like. I'm not too sure what the name is because uh, it just literally says the name or the color and just made in China in English and everything else is chinimo for me so i don't know what it says but yes this i think these are the matte magic something something fancy schmancy pant name which failed so bad that i can't even know oh wow that was that was good it was random and i just like went with the flow so yeah anyway i have these two colors one is maryland pink and one is uh big gal scarlet which sounds very fancy schmancy again see the thing is i'm fine with matte lipsticks and matte liquid lipsticks being semi-matte like revlon has ultra hd which is like semi-matte and then nika has so matte which is semi-matte again but i'm not fine with matte lipsticks or liquid lipsticks being glossy like there's a difference between semi-matte and glossy these are just glossy and for the price of the retail they're crazy like i think these retail for like 7.99 or 9.99 something of that sort and you can get such amazing proper true matte colors for that range so that's crazy like l'oreal really needs to calm its shit down with the pricing because they are competing with matte now like i'm not even kidding you like the prices are sky high and they're supposed to be a drugstore so yeah they really need to com like, calm the shit down with the prices but yeah, these just did not work for me the colors are beautiful i was looking so forward to them the packaging is stunning but the formulation nada so yes with that i finished a product i regret buying or things that did not work for me video i hope you guys enjoyed this and it was helpful for you in some or the other way and probably saving your money on something that you were planning to buy but now are like yeah maybe not so yes i'll see you guys super soon till then don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media which i will link in the bottom half for you guys as usual will not stop forcing you to follow me till you follow me just kidding follow me if you want to if you don't want to it's cool we're chill we're fine so, but follow me yeah please do so yes i will see you guys super soon till then take care Mwah. bye